What factors will be what forced development of glass facades, legal requirements and new technologies, etc.? Safety is one of the major drivers, but also sometimes technological invention, which will um, actually offer new opportunities which need regulations. In what directions will follow the new development, the development of new facades? Well, I think new facades have two ways in which they develop. One is bigger sizes. We continuously see the development into bigger glass panels, bigger facade elements, less joints. The other um, direction that we see is into better insulation that we um, see that there is a higher requirement for um, shading coefficients, for more light transmission into the building, um, that there are requirements for more safety, more structural strengths where we have laminated glass, things like that, new interlayers, new coatings. And what proposals in this field will reinvent and represent company Arup? Well, there are really many things that we have been sort of driving in this direction over the last 60 years. And uh, more recently, I think you have um, seen projects like the International Building Exhibition in Hamburg, where we've been developing the green algae facade. Um, but we've also been uh, working on uh, safety issues, bomb blast issues, things like that. And did you enjoy the conference? Yes, I did. What is your favorite part of the conference? Um, the favorite part is always the networking, that you're meeting people that you otherwise might have not a chance to meet, and um, the discussions which you have with those people, um, that you know, they talk about things which very often you wouldn't see on stage. Well, thank you for having me here. Any, anything else you would like to add? It's a very interesting opportunity to have these conferences and I just would want to encourage you to carry on doing them.